everyone, this is a quick little segment on paper tubes and all the sum of the many things you can do with them. Uh, a favorite for us is binoculars and you can just t run some tape around these to tape them together. If you want to punch a hole in them and attach a piece of yarn, then they can have them hanging. We like to use these to go on bear hunts uh, so you can if you want, set up some of your child's teddy bears around the yard. I know um, some neighborhoods are doing this right now, so these are um, great binoculars for them. You can also use it just for a nature scavenger hunt uh, around the backyard and giving them different colors of things to find that they can collect in a bag, but use their binoculars to see. Um, another option is if you have a bunch of these, Maybe you have some cotton balls, or maybe you actually have some colored pom-poms, or if not, bouncy balls are really fun for this. Well, they're fun for the kids. <laughs> they can be slightly annoying for the adults, but perhaps this is a time when you just set them up and you walk away for a little while. Um, you can use a whole bunch of these to make different, um, different tubes for them to go through. If you want to go the extra mile, you could put colored paper around them or color them if you want to do it with colored pom-poms and have that cognitive skill of matching the colored pom-poms to the correct color tube. If not, give them some tape and let them go ahead and design their own course of how they want this to go and then they can rearrange. It's kind of a, a little engineering in there, problem solving, um, and then they can let the ball go through or the cotton ball go through. They can move it and try, you know, a different way if they just want to have one each. They can have races to, if they have more than one ball to see which goes through the fastest. Um, it's a great uh, science engineering activity. Um, another way these can be used is for lacing um, for some of our older friends. If you have some shoelaces and you cut up your paper towel tubes or your toilet paper tubes into different lengths, they can lace through these because sometimes it's a, this is a little bit of a tough concept for um, them to get with some of the smaller holes that come in the specific lacing toys. So toilet paper tubes make great um, use for this. And if you don't have enough tubes but you still want to do this, you can cut up paper and make it into circular links or circles um, and they can lace those that way. Um, so yeah, and again, you could color these if you want to, and you could do patterning with it. Um, you can also attach a number to the end of the shoestring uh, or yarn, and you could do a different number on each shoestring or yarn and have them um, place that amount of links or tubes onto it to uh, work on one-to-one -one correspondence. Also, another way for some of our younger friends is to use these with paint. You dip the end in some paint and then you stamp it on the paper and voila, you've got circles. Um, if you have different color paint, then they would have all different color circles on there and that's fun for them to see how they can paint and explore with something that is not a paintbrush. You can also let this dry and then let them color in their circles with markers or crayons or paint inside their circles and see what kind of uh, cool design they come up with. So those are just some of the few ideas you can use all of your stockpile of paper towels and toilet paper roll tubes for once um, they start depleting a little bit. All right, hope you enjoyed.